Good morning. Today is the first day of fall, and it is a Monday, and I'm just starting the vlog. Hi. You want to say hi? Claire wants to say hi. hi. Did you like your pancakes? They were yummy? Um, on my throat. Oh, you want to show your shirt? Her cute little sweater that I got her at Walmart for only like $7. It was so cute. I love like the little ruffle details right here. Do you like it? Yeah. She's been like wanting to wear it ever since I bought it, but in the mornings it's cold, but then like once it starts like getting noon, it starts getting hot. So I put it on this morning since it's a little chilly and she's always cold in the mornings um, because later on it starts getting hot and it's not that cold here, but it's already getting to the breeze and next week we're going to be like in the 70s, which is going to be so, so good. I'm so excited for that sweater weather, even though it's the first day of fall today, but it does feel good outside. Anyways, um... I just finished making Claire her little pancakes and stuff like that. I'm so extra, I know. I know I look like a hot mess because I just woke up like two hours ago um, and I need to work out. I'm thinking if I should work out right now or if I should work out later, I don't know. Cause I have a lot of things to do today. Today is gonna be a super, super busy day. So I think I'm gonna do my workout real quick right now and then get started with my day. Hey guys, so it's another day in the vlog and I really haven't vlogged. What today? What's today? Thursday? I need a burp. It's Thursday, but I haven't vlogged because I was really busy with my shop and stuff. But today is my day and today I'm gonna take a day off and just relax. And I brought myself to the antique stores, which he hates. He thinks they're boring, but I just love to look and get inspired and yeah it's my day off i've just been thinking and breathing and eating and business all these days that i was like okay i need some time for myself get out and do what i like and this is what i like to do i like to go to the antique stores and just look and i get inspired because a lot of these antique stores are like vintage things and then other th things that people do like on their own they'll diy them so i like to do that and i like to get inspired so i thought i would come and just think about something else and i'm gonna bring you guys along So this is all we found at Goodwill. We found these that were brand new. I just need to clean them a little bit. And these were, ah, I can't even grab it. $10, so $9.89 as you can tell right here. I thought they were so cute. They're gonna go on our back patio. We've been looking for some like these to hang on the back patio. So that's pretty cool that we found them at Goodwill. And right, right here is a little door. It's like magnetic. And we're gonna put some candles in there or something to light it up when we're out there. It's gonna look so cute but that's all i found at goodwill today was it was not a successful goodwill day but all right so there's something i want to share with you guys so for two weeks our dryer has not been working and i told my husband like call and see if samsung we still have warranty we didn't remember when the warranty on the dryer was over so i was like just call and check see what they say so he called and samsung we told them that we didn't have no more warranty it already finished okay so they hire like their own person to come out here and look at the dryer and the whole time like we would ask for how much it was going to be and they would never tell my husband 
how much the price would be to fix it. So a week later, the guy came out and looked at the dryer and then they had to order the parts. And then finally the next week, the guy today, which is today, two weeks from now, he came to fix it and we didn't have to pay a dime and we still didn't have like we didn't have warranty in it no more so if you have a samsung or if you have any other type of dryer always call like the main company and see if they'll fix it um we didn't ask for them to do it for free we just we literally just wanted them to fix it and we're gonna pay for it the guy that came to fix it said that samsung paid for it so samsung didn't even tell us that we're gonna pay for it that's the I don't, I don't get it, but at the end of the day, like, we got it fixed for free. And a good thing we got it fixed for free because my husband's like, well, i just rather buy another one because usually people that fix them charge the same price as buying a new one. And I was, and I, we even had an argument over this. I even told him, like, just, dude, just, like, try and call and see what they tell you. See how much it is because I am not going to spend another, like, 500 to $800 on a new dryer when we can just fix it for, like, 100 and something dollars. Like, whatever but he ended up calling samsung and that's what they did they fixed it for free so that's pretty pretty cool i just wanted to share that with you guys because this is why i do youtube too to share things with you guys and if you have a dryer from a certain brand make sure you call the main company and check with them you ready to race me so let's do this ready set go <laughs> <laughs> You're fast. Yeah. Hi. Bruno got his clam chowder. Every Friday they have clam chowder. We were here to regain the calories we just ran. Feel <laughs> yeah, that? Pretty much. Now I'm back home from taking a walk and having lunch because it was already lunch or more like brunch. Now I got to get to work because yesterday, like I told you guys, I took a day off. I didn't do anything with my work and today I have some orders I have to do that came in yesterday. So I got to get these orders done, but I want to show you guys something because I don't know if you guys remember me on one of my vlogs where I showed you guys the printer I use and I told you guys that it was an old printer and that I wasn't going to buy a new one until like it broke or something. Well, anyways, I ended up buying a new one because let me explain why. So. I went to Target to go buy ink because I ran out of ink and I had to do orders. So the ink for my old printer is usually like $50 for the color ink and the black ink. And that day, this printer that I got today was $60 off. So I ended up getting it for $60 and I was like, you know what? Instead of buying new ink, I'm just going to buy this a new printer. I'm already paying $50 for the ink. And this new printer was $60 and it came with ink inside of it. So I was like, this is way better because it has ink already um, and it's brand new and I needed a new one anyway. So let me show you guys my, my really cool printer. I really, really love it. One, because I can print out from my phone. I could print out, it's like wireless. So I can print out from my iPad. I could print out from my phone because sometimes like I don't have my laptop near me and I want to print out some papers for my business and I'm like too lazy to go get my laptop because you know, I'm lazy and I'm human, whatever. Here's the printer. I believe they're all on sale because there was a lot of printers that day that they were on sale. And I got this printer, not only because it was $60, but the ink was really cheap. So now when I fill it up with ink, it's only gonna be $25. And it's the HP, the HP NV5055. I really, really love it. Like I told you guys, it's wireless, so it doesn't have to be connected to like a laptop or anything like my old one, which was a little annoying. Um, but you just have to connect it to the wall, of course. It also like prints out so much faster than my other one. My other one would be like so slow at printing. This one it just literally came out like butter, like super fast. I love it. So if you're looking for a new printer, this is only $60 right now. The regular price is 120 and I got it for $60. So it's literally worth it. All right, guys, welcome to the vlog. So today is Sunday and I'm about to finish the vlog. But before I finish the vlog, I am going to play a little prank. I'm going to do a little prank on my brother. So basically what we do is we put we we say we put money on a bucket and they're both going to try to win the money that's in there. But what we're really going to put in there is poop. So one of them is going to touch the poop because they're both going to go at it and they're going to think they're winning money. So they're both going to go at it real quick. I know this is a really mean prank, but 
we seen it and we're like, you know what? Let's do it. It's so funny, especially, you know, kids, teenagers, they always want money for snacks and stuff. Because Bruno has chickens and we're going to put a little bit of poop because he doesn't have a lot of the chicken poop since he picks it up all the time. I told him to mix mud and put the poop on top so that way whoever grabs it and touches it, <laughs> it's going to touch the chicken poop. You get me? So that is what we're doing and it's so it's going to be so funny. So let's do it. Yeah. All right, so what you're going to do is <laughs> You're going to be placing your hand on the floor, all right? When he opens by the bucket, when he opens that bucket, whoever gets the money first, keeps some money. Put your hands close right? like that. No, I'm ready. So whoever gets some money, whoever gets it first. I'm ready. The money's in there. Remember, you get an extra $5. I'm ready. That's too far, dude. You're trying to get the money. Ready? Ready? Go! Now you suck. What the hell? Where's my money? Where's my money? Where's my money? I got it! Woo! <laughs> that's chicken poop! Where's my money? I got it! You don't get money. That was that's what that was your reward. I just wanted to see who went for the poop first. <laughs> Alright, so that was the end. They obviously did not fall for it. It was funny. I love playing pranks on them even though they get mad about them. But I mean, what else am I gonna do with my life? I don't have nothing else to do. But that was the end of the vlog. I am going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And if you did, don't forget to give this vlog a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys on my next vlog. Bye, guys.